Welcome to our J Crazy News headlines on a special Wednesday evening to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. You see, Jamaica is a beautiful place. Yes, indeed. With beaches, hilly areas, etc, etc. But what makes Jamaica ugly now to the world? is the hearts and minds of Jamaicans. I have some Jamaicans who are involving themselves in criminal activities, a part of criminal organizations. And when you see them in the news and their name come up with their profession, you have to hold your face and shake your head. And wonder to yourself, is these Jamaicans for real? Jamaicans who have education, Jamaicans who went to university and did their bachelor's, their master's, and their PhD, been arrested for being a part of a criminal organization. And you say to yourself, is there really hope for Jamaica? I don't think so. Now, a couple months ago, 22 criminal elements were arrested for being a part of the Tisha Miller Clansman faction. Now, a medical doctor was arrested and he will face ID parade. Now, it's alleged that he is a part of the Tisha Miller's Klansman faction. Now the 22 other members of the faction, Tisha Miller faction, they were arrested for various criminal offenses including murder, extortion, illegal gun, attempted murder, conspiracy to murder, aggravated assault, and the list goes on. Now, Tisha Miller is to return to court tomorrow. Now, members of the Tisha Miller's Klansman faction were arrested and charged and placed behind bars for criminal activities between August 5, 2017 to August 22, 2022. Now still the parish of St. Catherine, where a teacher is in trouble with the law. He has been charged for sexually assaulting a student. Now the teacher's name is Stephen Cunningham of Gregory Park in the parish of St. Catherine. Now the allegations are that sometime in March 2024, that's last month, Cunningham on more than one occasion held down the female student and R-A-P-E-D her while she was attending classes. All the matters reported to the police and Sisoka did their investigations. Stephen Cunningham was then taken into custody where he faced a question session by authority. After the question and session, Stephen Cunningham was officially charged by the police for sexual assault. Boy, may I tell you, these grown men, they are seriously mentally disturbed. And I don't think that they are mentally disturbed. I do believe that they are just wicked 
and evil to do these kinds of acts. And you see where in Jamaica it's a popular trend for grown men to assault teenagers or children, persons who are underage. Even big women too are being R-A-P-E-D and assaulted by these grown men who should know better. Can you imagine a teacher who should know better? But I guess the devil won at the end of the day. You see, these men, these grown men, are being used by the devil to damper, to dull the future the lives of these young teenagers. And when these women, teenagers grow up big and they turn women, they are still living in fear. They are scarred for life. In Jamaica, if you do a study, you will be amazed at the percentage of women in Jamaica who were raped, sexually molested at a tender age. It's a lot of women in Jamaica who went through that when they were a child or a teenager. They will tell you that they are still going to their beds and they cannot sleep properly at nights because they are still in the past. They are still seeing that image in their dreams in front of their faces. That is why many of them cannot have a successful relationship because of their past and what was done to them by evil relatives and also family members and also friend of the family. And if these women don't get counseling, I can tell you, they'll grow up to be women who are very angry, resentful, filled with hatred towards men, and even men who haven't done them anything. Ask them, I'm not telling you any lies. These women in Jamaica, they are still being shattered like glass from their past because of what was done. The slave masters did this to our ancestors and black men are doing the same thing. Black men who should be protectors of black women, they are doing the slave masters work. Now we head towards Kingston and St. Andrew where a Spanish town businesswoman and also bar operator was shot and killed during a robbery. Now dead is Julian Brown who is in her 40s. Now yesterday afternoon in Pembroke Hall, Julian Brown was shot and killed by criminal elements at exactly 1.40 p.m. Now, Julian Brown was her bar when three men came into the bar. Now, the three gunmen demanded cash and other valuables. When the demand was not met, Julian Brown was shot by the criminal elements. After which, the gunmen escaped successfully. The police have got to the scene. On arrival, Miss Brown taken to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. In a CCV TV footage, it showed where the perpetrators destroyed the bar after shooting Miss Brown. Now the police are saying that they have strong leads into who these perpetrators, these three criminal elements, these three serpents were the police are investigating boy may i may tell you jamaica land that we are supposed to love no one is safe in jamaica
Now you saw in Sentana where a cop was killed by a criminal element. And within hours, not even 24 hours, the police could produce pictures of the criminal element. And then that criminal element was shot and killed by the same security forces. But when an innocent person like Julian Brown is being killed, these same cops drag their feet. Let me tell you something. The JCF and the JDF have the required tools to fight crime. Do not make them tell you otherwise. They have the tools to fight crime. You saw the JCF displayed high technology gadgets at the Jamaica Arena. The only time when you see an urgency or a feel of proactive measures by the police is when a police officer, an upper class Jamaican, or a politician is being killed or harmed by criminal elements. When a middle class or a poor innocent person is being killed, the same police drag them feet. They take months, year or years to solve one single crime. I tell you, you know, innocent, low class, and poor Jamaicans' lives don't matter. Or the upper class, politicians, police officers, or persons of high status that matters. That's when the same police officers, the same JCF, make urgency in a field of being proactive to solve the case. I'm going to see how long the JCF take to catch or kill the perpetrators to the life of Julian Brown, who was a mother. I have been to other countries and the same police force in those countries, they are in a field of proactiveness across the entire board. It don't matter if you're a partition, an upper class, the poor, or middle class, or an average person. These same police officers operate the same way for every class of their society in their country. And they get a job done quickly and swiftly. But in Jamaica, matter of fact, Jamaica is the only country where the police force works at a pace based on class. Now we head towards Petersfield in the parish of Westmoreland, where a man has been allegedly caught by the police and arrested and charged for completely severing with the hand of his baby mother. Now the man has been added as Ashroy Johnson and his 21 year old baby mother Ashley Riley who you see on your screen right now. Now this happened during a domestic dispute. Now based on information Ashley Riley age 21 was physically assaulted near the Petersfield High School at 5 p.m. over the weekend. Weekend gone. Where her baby father used an alleged machete to sever one of her hand. He also slapped her several times on her head and other parts of her body. Now Ashley Riley to the hospital where she is in serious condition. Thankfully, she has survived this attack by her baby father. Now based on information, her right hand was chopped off. What may I tell you? Sometimes I want to myself, 
where do women go to find these kind of men in Jamaica? Certainly, it is a mystery, it's a wonder. Where do they find these kind of men to be with, to have children with, these monsters? Sad, sad indeed. But thankfully, she is alive to tell the tales. But all I can say to her, do not go back into a relationship with this man. The fact that he did this to you, it simply means that he could have took your life as well. This is Jay Crazy. Again, until then, this is Unsafe Wednesday afternoon. Yeah man, I'm here as a black legend. I'm here represent for Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. We review news and entertainment. Celebrity monster movements are flow. Jay Crazy not play with him, I review the thing then. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. We review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements are flow. Jay Crazy not play with him, I review the thing then. We do the thing then, we do the thing then Jack Crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle We do the thing then, we do the thing then Jack Crazy